right, my uh, good buddy uh, gave me this um, old school M515 Palm Pilot. And uh, I let the man, uh, reason, you know, we used to use these back in the day as a uh, old school data logger before the OBD two days and Elm 327s and those kinds of things. And uh, I did manage to load up MMCD on it, um, which is a uh, pretty much a freeware uh, data logger software that can be used with um, first generation Talons, Eclipses, uh, even the OBD1 uh, Stealth and 3000 GTs and GVR4s. Uh, but just in case, you know, he had to sit around forever. Um, don't know how long the battery is inside, old, how old the battery is inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, swap out this battery. About uh, so-called high capacity kit on eBay. Uh, finest Chinese quality. And I'm sure that no matter how bad it is, it's still better than what we have inside the palm. Go ahead and turn that off. It did come with screws or screwdrivers which very impressive. Even came with a little tool to um, separate the unit. Looks like these screws are little tiny torxes. Let's try to find a screwdriver that can work with that. One seems to work. One screw. Working diagonally because I I think that'll help relieve pressure sometimes. And take out the stylus. We'll take out the SD card slot protector. Just trying to get an idea of which sections are going to come off. Which, for our purposes, we do need the back section to come off. Is that more of a fight than I expected? Trying to be gentle so I don't break it. Because um, it's not something that you can run out and buy another one of these. I mean, there's 
some on eBay, but since your average. Smartphone has a lot more power than. There we go. These old school Palm Pilots did. All right, so still on. I'm trying to turn it off, but come on. Trying to get it to go to sleep, but all right, we'll just go ahead and disconnect the battery, which is a Samsung battery. Go ahead and pull that out. That should take disconnect the battery. That's the original Samsung number, Samsung SDI IA1T620E0. Well, let's see what we got in the bag. surprisingly nice boxing really nice packaging for an eBay purchase this one's reported to be 3.7 volts 1350 milliamps 4. I guess that's 4.99 watts Looks like it's the same connector as um, what we got here. Let's see, is this taped down, glued down? What do we got? Looks like it is taped. Uh oh. Battery is glued to this board, taped to this board. So I just separated it from the board to sharp, sharp board. So it's sharp right here. Some classic chip manufacturers on here. You got a Samsung chip, Epson chip. Up in the corner it says, uh, 2002. Older than a lot of folks that I know that are driving DSMs. Well, almost. Looking at the two batteries. This one, the new one doesn't seem to have any type of glue or anything on it. But I think just the, let me see if this is double sided or not, no. Yeah, I think it'll be okay just from the pressure of squeezing inside the case, it'll be all right. Drops right in, I think it might be easier to connect it first.
All right, make sure I put it in the right way. Yeah, this is tiny. All right, so the metal pieces or the, the metal connectors are up top. Yeah, just checking to see if this portion comes off separately, but it does not. I mean, that's actually the casing of the, the battery itself. So there's nothing to transfer. I know, buddy. I hear you. You're not happy. You're like, why am I open? Trying to rotate this pigtail in a way that it's safe. All right, well, it looks like it's working, which is good. Let's get the front pieces back on for the buttons. Just blow it out. Nothing really, it's not really dusty at all. Props to a man, Seth, for keeping it in good shape after all these years. Just making sure this corner doesn't chafe against the wiring. Although I'm pretty sure the yellow part was on top, but the way this is just set up, it's a little different than the original. It's not really any kind of orientation to top or bottom. Just trying to be a little more anal about my cable placement. I think we're okay with that. So it's not a lot under. Not under a lot of minimum amount of stress. All right, I think that's that's it. Old battery out. As you can see, the cable on the new one is a lot longer. Um, not sure if that's so that it could fit other models, but otherwise, it seems to be fine. Let's get the back casing on. Should snap right back together. That was smart. All right, now we just gotta pretty much put the screws back in they're all sitting properly. Nice. 
on final retorquing. One Agadaga, two Agadaga, three Agadaga, four. Which of course Agadaga is the international technician standard for how much torque to apply to something. Um, went back in, put in the SD card, slot protector. Um, I do need to get an SD card. All my SD cards are way too big for what this old school thing can handle from what I've read. Um, uh, only one, either one meg or one gig, I think one gig cards are the biggest it'll handle. And, yep, trusty stylus. Yeah, so it looks like it completely reset it and uh, lost the entire profile. Let's see, wow, 2000. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing back in business. Uh, they were filming this video in March 9th. It's yeah, I just want to see what it um looks like if it uh if we lost everything, which pretty much should be the case. So it looks like it um, went all the way back to being completely reset. I lost um, the MMCD, but I just have to hook that back into the uh, my la laptop and re-image the um, palm. But um, looks like the battery's halfway charged from the factory. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this shut off, put it on a charger, make sure it gets a full deep complete charge and then um, reload back in the MMCD and uh, that way I can be able to go data logging. Thanks for watching. Uh, this uh, Palm M515 uh, battery replacement using an eBay uh, Cameron Sino high capacity battery. And um, make sure to subscribe if you'd like. I'm sure I'll come up with another video, maybe sometime another six months to a year. Uh, but uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it.